What's up guys, it's you and welcome back to episode number 13, I believe, yeah, 13 of our Pokemon Volt White Nuzlocke they're doing here on the channel. In the last episode, we were able to make it here to Driftvale City, and uh, we went to cold storage and we body bagged Team uh, Team Plasma, yeah, Team Plasma, we body bagged Team Plasma, which was pretty dang cool, and then we picked up a new member of our party, which was Juvia the Cedra, who you can see on the bottom of the screen right now. Unfortunately, there was no grinding montage, as if you missed it in the last episode, my computer is filling up on space fast, and grinding montages ended up being about ended up being about 4 gigabytes per episode, so it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for me to re record grinding montages, and a small little sacrifice we'll have to make in order for me to continue putting up the number of videos that I do per week. But anyway, uh, let us quickly take a look at um, what Pokemon I have in my party real quick. We'll do a quick little party update here to make sure that uh, we are all acquainted with who we have. Um, the first member of our party who is actually going to be the one that attempts to come through in this gym today is going to be Juvia, our Cedra, with uh, Hydro Pump Agility. Hidden Power, which I figured out is Ghost in uh, while I was uh, grinding, and then Brine, which is pretty cool. And then we also have Star Raptor, um, who we who we will nickname Spade at some point, with Acrobatics, Aerial Ace, Return, and Close Combat. Uh, also level 52. Also level 52 is She Devil, uh, with Psychic, Dark Pulse, Psy Shock, and Calm Mind. Uh, she Devil is going to be our secondary win condition. <laughs> Speaking like it's competitive, um, it's going to be our secondary option in the gym. Because I think Clay leads with Powdon. So if for some for some reason if we get critted by a Stone Edge while setting up agilities with Cedra, then we can come into this and call mine to hopefully plus six and then see how many hits we can tank for the rest of the gym. And then the last member of our party is Gigalith, who has Sturdy, who is going to be our catch-all in today's episode with Rock Blast, Rock Slide, Bulldoze, and Stealth Rock. We are ready to go. Um, we are going to lead She-Devil. And uh, we're going to go fight all the trainers in the gym. So that that's going to be pretty cool. Is this? No, this is the church. I do not need to go to church. Going to church. Anyways. Um, so we got to do this storyline stuff right here. Clay, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Gestas of Team Plasma. I've come to pick up my associates who are in your care. I, I don't need no thanks now. Your butt is trying to steal some folks' Pokemon. What's this? It seems as, as if there's been some misunderstanding. We only free Pokemon from wicked people. Well, that sounds real nice, but you're not a real man, uh, if it's true. I may not talk pretty, but at least I'm an honest man, and I'm a real man. You talk real nice, but what you're saying kind of sounds like lying. Lying's not a real man thing to do. So damn it, Plane. What are you trying to dis What are you trying to say? Team Plasma also has an interest in Driftville City, and we have many, many more members besides of those who are here. Well, if I can't get your line or not, but I reckon you won this without a fight. <laughs> Fine, take him again, like a real man! A decision worthy of a businessman called the Minor King. Your grasp of the situation is outstanding. Well then, we will be taking our colleagues off your hands. Gustus, thank you very much. Don't worry, my fellow servant of the king. We are two of the seven sages, are we not? Well then, everyone, I expect that we will meet again somehow. Somewhere. Sometime. Sorry, sorry to let Team Plasma go after you drag down, fellas. That's not a real man thing to do. Say, why don't we cheer ourselves over the Pokemon battle? Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty. I can sure take you on, and I'm just gonna skip Sharon's voice because my throat hurts really bad right now from doing Clay's voice. Clay's voice actually is kind of straining. <laughs> Uh, but we're going to pick up our fresh water right here, and then we are going to muscle our way through this gym. Hopefully we won't lose any Pokemon. Uh, but if we lose a lock, we are like we are likely to if we lose the lock, we are likely to lose it here. Just because uh Clay's gym is really, really strong. And like so many people lose to Sand Rush Excadrill. And if you guys didn't know, I actually have Clay's team pulled up next to me. Clay's team consists of a uh, Hippowdon. Level 42, Seismitoad level 42, Steelix level 42, Marowak level 42, Croc Crocodile level 42, and Excadrill level 42. And you may be wondering, oh my goodness, Geo, why did you grind up to level 52? Well, it's because we're going to need all the speed we can get, frankly, and we are going to need all the extra bulk. Because uh, Clay does have a Sand Rush Excadrill with Earthquake, Rock Slide, X Scissor, and Sword Dan Swords Dance. Meaning that I can't keep She Devil in on this thing um, because it'll knock me out with X Scissor. Um, it, it will it will just swords dance in my face if I bring in my Gigalith, which is bad. There's no way I'm sending in Star after on Excadrill, and like don't don't even get me started. Like if I'm not at 
uh, plus six speed with Seedra, there's no way I should be staying in. And I understand that we are a, li a little bit over leveled as of right now, but once we get to the gym leader, you guys will see why we need all these levels. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to head down farther into the depths of the gym right here. And uh, i got to take this up, I believe. And then we're going to battle this trainer, and then we're going to run over, and we're going to battle the other trainer. So, th this is not really a hard gym puzzle, I would say. But this is more of just a, oh my goodness, this is incredibly tedious gym puzzle. And, the like, the, because there's not really a way to get it quick, I guess. Like, even with Lieutenant Surge's gym, you can get you can get through that one pretty quick if you get lucky, if you, like, guess correctly. So that can help you a lot, and you can get through it like that. But with this, it's like there's no shortcuts, it just takes forever, and it's just kind of obnoxious. But anyway, his Marowak is holding a thick club, which means it has, like, double, double attack. It also has Mold Breaker. And it has Earthquake, so that's actually kind of kind of scary, because we could easily go down to that. That would be, like, super freaky Skeletomans, um, because, like, Marowak is pretty slow, but when it has stuff like Stone Edge, Earthquake, and Low Kick, you, you gotta recognize Marowak as a threat. Okay, we can't get through there, so let's, let us go down, and do we have to run through here? Nice. So we, so we actually get around, surprisingly. And we're going to be able to go down farther into the depths of the jungle known as Clay's Gym as this guy is a Larvitar. Larvitar actually isn't that scary. Uh, if he had a Tyranitar just chilling here right now, then I would be absolutely terrified and fearing for my life. However, that is not the case. So we're just going to knock that thing out real quick. He also has an Onyx, which isn't too bad. And uh, we'll see what else he has. Um, so... I, I was really hoping that we would be able to at least get a king. Oh, wow. I bounced back his stealth rocks. I am just such a pro player. I'm going to be able to break the sturdy if he has another onyx. Oh, my goodness. I'm the best player in the world, guys. I could completely win the VGCs. Speaking of which, Pokemon World Championships happen, happened recently. I haven't yet watched the battles back. I probably should. Because if I ever want to get in a VGC, that's a good place to start. Look at the teams that those guys are using. But... Um, I, I made some VGC teams in theory that pretty much focus around uh, trapping and killing with Parish with Parish Gar, Parish Mag Mega um, Mega Gengar, which I, which I think would actually be pretty cool, but it's not too consistent because if you have if your opponent has, has a psychic type, you pretty much lose. So uh, I think I got to go up here and um, run into this guy. Never mind, this is not the area that I need that I need to. That I needed to go. I can't talk all of a sudden. Um, this is not the area that I need that I needed to go. So I'm gonna have to come back down or go back down at some point. And his camera up does drought. That's actually pretty cool. I would not be against having a camera up. I would just like sack that thing immediately though, because I would just use it to change weather and then I would win. Because um, he only has one way of getting weather up on his team, which is his Hippowdon. So, so if I can knock Hippowdon out, the rest of his team... Like, if I had an alternate source of weather, the rest of his team would be super easy. Because I, I would muscle my way past Hippowdon. Hippowdon's not going to be that hard to beat, let's be honest. And then I would just um, change weather and I would win. Anyway, I'm just, I'm going to Psychic this Torterra here. Psychic actually has a pretty cool move animation in this game. And uh, he goes for the Giga Drain. Not bad. Not bad. Another thing that I was looking through my item box and I saw that I didn't have was a Wide Lens. I really wanted a Wide Lens specifically for my... Um, okay, so I can knock him out with Psychic. Thank you, Forewarn, for telling me which move I should go for. Anyways... I was looking for a wide lens because it would actually improve the accuracy of Hydro Pump from 80 to 88, which would be so wonderful. Because like having that, having that extra accuracy, you may be like, oh well, like you may as well just run another item, right? Uh, well, well, like it actually can help in some very clutch situations, and we're gonna use this Ether on Dark Pulse here, and then head back down into the depths of Clay's gym. Um, where where we gotta go? Where we gotta go? We're gonna try to go up. That is not at all where we needed. Actually, yeah, that is where we needed to go. I'm being dumb. 
Uh, welcome back to another episode of Geo is Dumb and generally can't find his way around any of the main series Pokemon games. In this episode, we are going to be losing to Clay. Any <laughs> anyhow, um, we have not made that much progress in 10 minutes, but I, I actually think we're almost through this like dumb puzzle in the gym, which would be pretty cool if we are, in fact, almost there. Um, and I should probably switch to somebody else besides She Devil, because She Devil has already gained two levels, which is pretty cool. Uh, using, you know, trying to learn charm. Nah, it's okay. It's all good. Um, she Devil actually tried to learn. Actually, we're just gonna stand with She Devil because I don't want to lose uh, Star Raptor to Doug Trio or something dumb like that. Sucker Punch. That's only gonna hit me neutrally though. Anyways, uh, what what was I trying to say? Oh yeah, She Devil was trying to learn learn Magic Coat a couple levels ago, which in my opinion is the most redundant thing ever to hit the face of the earth, because I already have Magic Bounce, like, uh, imagine how new meta that would be if someone was like, I'm gonna run Mold Breaker, Stealth Rocks. I, I actually don't know if any Pokemon get the combination of Mold Breaker and Stealth Rocks. Um, I I'm trying to think of common things that get Mold Breaker, um, which pretty much goes down to Haxorus, uh, Mega Gyarados, and uh, I guess, yeah, I, I think that's it. Uh, those two are pretty much the only ones that end up getting Mold Breaker, and I don't think any of them get Rocks, which is a bit unfortunate. Marowak, if Marowak legit gets Mold Breaker, would be an option there, because I know for a fact Marowak gets Rocks. Um, I should, probably should not have used a Hyper Potion there. Um, I may have to run back and grab a Hyper Potion, which would be kind of unfortunate, but I don't think I'm going to, actually. And I kept And I keep thinking these are Dragon Scales, which is kind of annoying. Um, but you know, it's whatever. It's, it's whatever, man. But we're gonna run down here, and I believe this takes us to the depths. Yeah, it does. Alright, so we're gonna go down and battle clay right now. We have our very distinct game plan here that we're going for. And I'm not sure if I've, like, f explained it to you in, in this episode yet. But basically, what we are aiming to do is we are going to lead with Juvia who is 10 levels higher than this Poudon. And we're going to spam Agility, which is going to help us a lot. And do we... Yeah, we have Brine still. Okay. So we're going to spam Agility until we're at plus 6 speed, or like plus 5 or plus 4, because this Poudon actually is Bulldoze, which is kind of annoying. And then we are going to spam the heck out of Hydro Pump until we run out of PP on that, which will be kind of obnoxious, but that's okay, because we have a backup plan. We have Hidden Power, and I actually found out that this, that this was HP Ghost in the grinding montage. So, well, you guys didn't get to see the grinding montage, but you guys know what I mean. I actually found out this was HP Ghost, which is great, because I needed anything but HP Water to hit Seismitoad, or HP Electric, and I got HP Ghost, which is great. So we're going to uh, run up on Clay. Well, I'm a real man, and I think it's about time to see for my skill, see for myself what it is about your skills. I made a gym leader like Elisa takes such a shine to you, like a real man. So, all right, taking on Clay, I'm gonna stop speeding up at this point in the uh, battle here because um, th this part's about to get intense. So he leads Hippowdon, and as I as expected, and I lead with Cedra, which is fine. Um, the only thing I'm not really liking about this so far is that I'm not going to hit very hard. Um, I'm banking on the fact that I'm going to hit super effectively, but I'm, but I may not necessarily be able to like Oko him and whatnot. Okay, so he immediately goes for rocks, which is actually kind of annoying if I need to get Star Raptor in later in the match. Um, so I'm just going to click agility again. And so we're at plus four speed, which is great. He goes for Bulldoze to lower my speed. We're down to plus three. That does a lot of damage. Oh, my Lord. Um, so what we're going... Oh, no. That, he he can knock us out with another Bulldoze. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to heal up with a Hyper Potion right here. And uh, we're going to speed up healing and whatnot. We're going to hope he goes he goes for Bulldoze again. Um, okay. So that, that's looking like we can actually tank one more based on damage variation. And we're going to go for Agility one more time. I, I understand I just said I wasn't going to speed through this part. Oh boy, please live, please live, please live. Okay, good. Okay, so what we're going to do right here, because we've set up three agilities, he's bulldozed us three times, we're at plus three speed. Hopefully he goes for something like Stone Edge right here, um, because I do not want to get bulldozed again. He ends up going for bulldoze. Okay, so we're at plus two, so we're going to see if we got speed. Um, I really hope we do, frankly. And uh, here goes nothing, guys. Uh, we're going to try to hit this Hydro Pump. Okay, we hit Hydro Pump, meaning this pattern is... M Likely going to die. We're 10 levels higher. Yeah, okay, there it goes. Um, Powdon is down. Down goes Frazier. 
which is good. Um, and actually, if we can muscle past his drill, I think we win. Uh, we'll see what he ends up going out into next. He has Crocodile next. Um, Crocodile. Alright, I am I have to stay on this thing because I can't set up on an, on anything else on his team reliably. His Celix also has Gyro Ball, which could be a problem. Um, but we're going to try to hit a, another Hydro Pump here. We, oh my goodness, we hit two Hydro Pumps in a row. I can't hit a Play Rough to save my life when it comes in the clutch on Poke Battle. But like, in Let's Plays, I'm 100% accurate with Hydro Pump. Anyway, so that's some good experience right there. Uh, and he has a Steelix. Steelix is sturdy. This is a problem, actually, because he can just gyro ball me and knock me out. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to switch. I, I, I already said, I know, I wouldn't switch, yada, yada, doesn't matter, though. Um, I'm going to go into uh, She-Devil right here, because She-Devil can hit Steelix on the special side, um, and hopefully things go well. Um, because I think, oh man, I think I can set up on a Seismitoad if I need to again. Um, but I'm just going to go straight away for a Dark Pulse right here. He doesn't have anything that can hit me super effectively. So uh, we'll see how much his Dark Pulse does. It's not very effective and it does more than half. He coils up, meaning he gets a defense, special defense and attack, right? No, accuracy, okay. Um, then... I, I remember the move Coil purely because of Zygarde, because Zygarde is really bad at running Dragon Dance sets for whatever reason, so Sub Coil is actually pretty good on Zygarde. Anyway, so uh, we get Steelix out of the way, which is great, and uh, he has Drill. Drill the Lock Destroyer, so uh, we will see um, what we're going to go for right here. Um, I think I'm going to go into Gigalith. And the reason I'm going into Gigalith is because I'm about to slow this Excadrill down. I don't think he can one-shot me even with, um, because he, I think he needs a Swords Dance, Swords Dance in order to one-shot me. So I'm just going to Bulldoze right here. So he goes for the Earthquake. We'll see how, how powerful Drill truly is. Um, okay, good, good. We, we tanked the hit, which is amazing, which is all I wanted to do, because we're going to be able to... We get a crit on his Excadrill and knock out his Excadrill with Gigalith. Oh my lord. He has one more Pokemon, which is Marowak. I think we have this in the bag. No way. Okay, I'm going to stay in and I'm going to heal up. Because, um... Oh, he is sturdy. Um, this was not intend well intended. I'm going to switch Star after here. Um... Because I don't think he's going to go for a uh, Stone Edge here. Intimidate. Okay, we, we lower his attack, which is good. He goes for an Earthquake. Great. Sweet. Um, so right here, I have Return, which is 100. I, I mean, I have Acrobatics. Acrobatics is 110 base power because I'm not holding an item. I get Stab, meaning it's 165. Coming off Pokemon 10 levels higher, we're going to go for it. All right, please, base star after. Bring it home. Bring. Yes! 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 Oh my goodness. I thought I was so dead there because uh, he was able to uh, tank that acrobatics. But it uh, looks like I'm going to be doing just fine because he parasonged on his last Pokemon, which is amazing. Thank you very much, Clay. You the man. Um. Oh man, but but now what if I'm not able to knock this thing out and what if I have to sack something because he just keeps heal spamming? That is okay, never mind, he doesn't keep heal spamming. We're not getting to that. We end up beating Clay. Oh my goodness, that was that was cool. I, I thought we were gonna lose. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I thought we were gonna lose right there. Oh no, he has Seismitoad still. Wow, okay. Um Geo's jumping the gun, so I'm going to go into my Gotha tail right here. To take this thing on, because this thing has Earth Power, Muddy Water, Sludge Wave, and Rest. Um, I'm actually going to heal up real quick, just because um, I'm paranoid that he's going to get a crit, because I've actually had really good luck this battle, um, because I hit both my Hydro Pumps and crit his Excadrill, as he goes for Muddy Water, and if this lowers my accuracy, I'm going to be pretty mad. Okay, doesn't lower my accuracy. Um, so we're going to hit him up with this Dark Pulse, so he goes for Muddy Water... How does he outspeed? We're that slow. Okay, hit him up with the Dark Pulse. Black Glasses boosted. Stab boosted. Wow, he... 
he actually tanked that. Well, props to Seismitoad for being cool then. I'm going to heal up real quick because I am not losing. We've come this far. and We've come this far and he rests, which is fine. Um, i got to see how many more uh, hyper potions I actually have. Um, cause this could actually be put, we could actually be put in a really bad situation because I didn't come prepared. Um, we do not have any more hyper potions, which is bad, meaning we have to deal with this thing and hope that it doesn't get an accuracy drop. We, we mit, <laughs> we, see, we, we bob and weave around that, uh, muddy water right there. And depending on damage rolls, uh, yeah, we get a crit right there. A uh, crit may not have mattered because damage rolls, but, uh, anyway, we end up beating clay. I'm not gonna lie. I am thoroughly impressed with myself right now. I understand I was 10 levels higher, but still, that dude had a Sand Rush Excadrill. Sand Rush Excadrill should more than make up for that. Oh my goodness. For such for such a young and you have an imposing battle style like a real man. I know I, I know you got people who can dig up your potential like a real man. Hmm, take this. It's a badge for a real man. Oh, oh, hold up, got a cough from doing this voice. Okay, I, I hope my mic muted in time. That was a bad cough. Woo! Anyway. So this is your fifth badge, huh? If that's so, Pokemon of level 60 will obey you. Because they, because you're a real man. Also, I'll give you this TM. Well, that was the plan, but I just remembered something I won't. Wait, in front of the game in round 6, would you? Like a real man. So anyway, we beat Clay. And that is going to be the end of today's episode. Because um, that's really all we need right now, I guess. Uh, there's not really any pressing storyline events we have to cover, I don't think. So, you know, we did it. We beat Clay. We got past the dude that I've been fearing since we started this lock. Given we were given a second chance um, by through... If you guys didn't see that second chance, check out episode 8.5. That is when it was revealed that we were given a second chance. Because I wanted to explore this game a little bit more. Um, but I'm just going to heal up real quick, which is cool. And then uh, we're going to end the episode off. So if you guys didn't enjoy, please make sure to leave a like. Because it really does help show support for the stuff that I'm doing here on the channel. Additionally, make sure to answer today's comment question in the video. Which can be found in the bottom right hand side of the layout. And with that, I urge you guys to subscribe if you guys are enjoying the constant content. And with that, I'll catch you on the flip flop. And I just drug my mouse across the screen because I am incredibly pro. Bye. K-L-O-L. Flag for spam. Unsubbed. Blocked. Reported. Um, bye. Catch you on the flip-flop.